Hey everyone, this is Candid and welcome back to my channel. Let's get started on the lipstick and yes, the liquor. Check the description bar below so you can skip ahead to a particular lipstick that you might want to see or if you're just here for the liquor part, then <laughs> you can go ahead and skip ahead to that also. These are things that I like so I'm going to bring it to you guys in the way that I like, okay? And I was going to call it like lipstick and wine or whatever but it's not always going to be wine. Sometimes I do like hard liquor so you know, it is what it is. That's really what it is. It's liver. So let's just, you know, not be self-righteous and let's get real with it. And um, of course, you should be of drinking age if you're going to be looking at this sort of thing. All of these lipsticks are from Black Radiance. If you guys are familiar with Wet n Wild, they are the same company. However, they have a different line called Black Radiance. And I'm just showcasing four lipsticks today. The first one that I'm wearing is called Hibiscus. I love this color. It is very similar to my hair scarf today. It is like a corally, peachy kind of a color. And all of these lipsticks are really, really pigmented. They are extremely creamy. However, there are a couple of things that I don't like about it. The plastic on the packaging, once you tear this off, you basically lose the name of the lipstick. So that I kind of don't like because if I want to share it with you, all I know is the number at the bottom. I'm not familiar with what color it is anymore. I can also like magic mark it inside here, which I've been doing, but that's one thing that I don't like. The other thing that I don't like about it is that the bullet doesn't go all the way down. So that's the lowest that it goes. So if you don't put your lipstick in there just right, you, you know, can possibly mess it up by not putting it in there properly and you can get lipsticks on the side so that's kind of annoying okay so it doesn't go all the way down but you do get a decent amount of lipstick i'm going to swatch all of these on my lips so you can see what they look like but i'm also going to swatch them on my hand because i feel like once they're swatched on my hand you can kind of compare what they all look like against each other this is a black radiance number 5114 and the number the color of this is called hibiscus and that is what hibiscus looks like really wonderful really nice color and that is what hibiscus looks like on the back of my hand okay like i said she's really really creamy just i just feel like you know if you want to depart your lipsticks you're going to want to depot these because I just bought this. Today was my first day wearing this and already I can see that it's already on the side because of the bad packaging. Okay, but it's really, really extremely creamy. The next color is called Purple Passion. I really like this color a lot and I will go ahead and put this on my lips. It is number 5004 and let's see what she looks like. Okay, now... I'm going to show you guys already, just from me applying this. Do you see what I'm talking about? How the lipstick is so soft that it is cutting into the circular portion of the outer container that is just bending into there. I find this to be extremely annoying. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous color. But, you know, that that's just really annoying. So, yeah. This is Purple Passion. Love this color. It has a little bit of a blue base underneath it. It is ridiculously creamy. It's creamy to the point where I feel like it can be a little bit streaky. And you really want to exfoliate your lips and such before you put this on. So that right there is Purple Passion. And you can tell how it compares to the other one. So that is Purple Passion. I haven't tried this color yet. As a matter of fact, I haven't even really opened this color yet. It's still closed. This one is called Tiger Lily and it's number 5116. I'm going to open it up right now. Here we go with Tiger Lily. Okay, this one definitely needs some lip liner. So let me go ahead and add some lip liner to this. Mm -hmm. Now that I've added some lip liner to this, I'm starting to dig this color a lot. This is like a, I don't know, it's sort of like an orangey, but 
It has like this neutral kind of a color. And this is Tiger Lily with NYX Espresso as a lip liner. That is what Tiger Lily looks like. Sort of an orange brown, a brownish burnt orange kind of a color. The last color is a gold color and I know that I'm going to need a lip liner for this one too. I took the wrapper for this one off already so I don't have the color available to me right now. However, I will put it in the description bar below along with the chapters and all that good stuff. So here we go, number 5020, and this is a straight up gold color. Not sure if you guys can see that. Let me zoom in here for you for this one, because this one with the staining and all that. You guys see that? How pretty that is? Now, I just put this one on really lightly, because it's just gold, you know? And with my lips being stained from the previous lipsticks, I feel like it was a nice little combination there. But let me put it on a little bit more heavy for you guys, just to see what the lipstick can give, if it can really go all the way opaque. This is a really beautiful color. It's not an everyday color that you would just kind of go to work and go to class or something like that. And because it's gold and it's very like shimmery and ooh, look at my lips sort of a thing. So that is what that color looks like. And so let me go ahead and swatch this for you. These things are so soft, it's like hella annoying. That's the one problem I don't like with this company. If you know how to depot lipsticks, please depot these because it's extremely soft. And I, I know that my lipstick is not going to be able to make it inside of this uh, container for the entire life of the lipstick because it's just too soft. And that right there is what 5020 looks like. And these are all of the colors here on my hand. And so you can tell she's got a lot of shimmer. Alrighty, so let's get on to the liquor portion of this video. The first one that I'm going to test in front of you guys or try out in front of you guys is from a local vineyard here in Connecticut. And they're one of my favorite vineyards because I just love their wines. They have a wide variety of wines there. And they're all, I think most of them are sulfate free. I'm not someone that suffers with migraines, thank God for that. But if you do suffer with migraines, from what I understand, sulfates inside the liquor kind, of, inside of wine particularly, makes you sensitive and can bring on a migraine and from what I understand this guy a lot of his wines are sulfate free and he is a doctor actually um, who decided to you want to have a vineyard so he created one and the name of this vineyard is De Grazia Vineyards and this particular one is called Autumn Spice I know it's spring but this is awesome 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 so I've got a little bit going on here and I the thing about lipstick and when you're going out and wine and liquor and things like that is you already know that it's going to transfer onto your glass. And I think matte lipsticks are better for not transferring. If you don't mind, then that's fine. I particularly don't mind, but it is going to transfer. So anyhow, let's get tasting with this. So I'm going to go ahead and smell the bouquet, which it smells, it really does smell like autumn. It has like this slight spice. You know like when you guys have like apple cider and somebody adds the mulling spice to the apple cider? This kind of smells that way. This is an awesome tasting wine. It's really light. It's sweet. This autumn spice is made from honey, sugar pumpkins, white grape wine, Cinnamon, ginger, cloves, and nutmeg spices. Let me just tell you, this is awesome. It's a sweet wine, so if you're with someone who doesn't really like wine, and you're like, I don't kind of know, this is awesome because it really, really is light. It's perfect for summer, even though it's called Autumn Spice, I think because of the, like, the sort of pumpkin spice kind of a thing. 
I think this is also really awesome for summer. It's really sweet. It's not like a light flavor. It does have a little bit of a, you know, it's not like one of those Arbor Mist things where it's really, really light and breezy. It has, it, it has a little bit of flavor to it, but I love it. So it kind of gets you back here though, because it has that kind of a tart feeling. And um, just a really, really good wine. I think this would be great with like some sort of a very light fish something like a tilapia or a really light fish because it doesn't take over the flavor of the fish unlike a red wine would. And in terms of that lipstick transferring, it wasn't actually so bad, right? Look at that. I don't want to show this company's name, so excuse that, but it wasn't so bad in terms of the lipstick transferring, right? Of course, I didn't have my lip all over it, but Yeah, it's not horrible. I guess the more and more drinks that I take, you would see it more and more. But yeah, I'll probably be showcasing some other wines from them because they have a wide variety of wines that I love. They have one that has like a kick to it and I want to showcase that one as well. So the next one I'm going to be tasting is something that I saw on Instagram. Splint24 had this and she was like, this is better than Bailey's and I had to try it because back in the day when I was drinking Bailey's a lot, I used to like, you know, that was sort of my thing. And so I've never tried this before. I'm going to try it with you guys here. I don't even know how to pronounce this. It's Amarulo, Amarula. And this is a cream liqueur and that's what this looks like. Okay, I have never tried this before. As you can tell, it is completely unopened. I'm going to try it for the first time. Okay, this is really creamy. As you can tell here at the bottom of my glass here. Smells really, really nice. Just smells like, you know when you smell something and immediately you want to salivate because it smells so rich and creamy and tasty? That's what it, this is just, ooh, it smells like some kind of milk chocolate, milk chocolate with cream or something on here. So let's go ahead and try it out. This could be addictive. Splinter, you know what you're talking about. This is good. This has 17% alcohol inside here, and I want a little bit more because I just, <laughs> I feel like this is kind of one where like, it's milky, it's creamy, it has like this really nice smooth creamy flavor where you want to just keep drinking it over and over, like it's just, it tastes, it's just nice, it really, really is nice. This thing is smooth. That, oh, mmm. That is it for my liquor and lipstick. If you guys want more liquor and lipsticks, if you guys want this to be like a series or anything like that, let me know. Um, I can test out one or two wines or hard liquor depending on the cost of it. And I have plenty, plenty of lipsticks to try out. So that's about it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And um, yeah, that's about it. Take care, guys. Bye. Interested in hearing more from me, including photography, natural hair, and other musings? Check out my blog and these social media platforms. Links are in the description bar.